In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. An act of contrition. My God, I regret so much to have offended thee, because thou art infinitely good, infinitely kind, and dislike sin. I make a firm resolution with the help of thy holy grace never to offend thee and to do penance. In the state of contrition, I want to live and die. Amen. The first station. Jesus is condemned to death by Pilate. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Crowned with thorns and covered with a purple mantle, the soldiers presented me again to Pilate. Not finding a crime that he could punish me for, Pilate was looking for a way to set me free. In the pitiful conditions that I was in, Pilate showed me to the mob. He proposed to give me liberty and condemn Barabbas, a famous thief and murderer. The people shouted back, crucify him and set Barabbas free. Souls who love me, see how they have compared me to a criminal, how they have lowered me more than the worst criminal. Meditate for a moment upon the unspeakable martyrdom of my heart. My heart degraded beneath the heart of Barabbas. I am the most despised of men and I am being condemned to death like an infamous criminal. Pilate has pronounced sentence, my little children, consider attentively how my heart suffered. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The second station, Jesus accepts the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us continue, my little children. Follow me on the way to Calvary. I am overwhelmed with the weight of the cross. While my heart was absorbed with sadness for the internal loss of Judas, the cruel executors, insensitive to my pain, placed the cross on my wounded shoulders. The hard and heavy cross cuts into my shoulders. Through the cross, I consummated my mystery of the redemption of the world. Contemplate my passions, angels from heaven. See the creator of all the marvels, the God to whom all the heavenly spirits render adoration the God walking towards Calvary and carrying on his shoulders the holy and blessed wooden cross, the God who is going to receive his last breath. Contemplate my passion, you souls who wish to be my faithful imitators. My body, destroyed by so much torture, walks without strength, baited in sweat and blood. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The third station. Jesus falls. 
for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I suffer without any sorrow for my pain from the mob. As I walk, there is not a single one of the mob who feels pity towards me. I am surrounded by hungry wolves wanting to devour their prey. All of the demons come out of the hell to compound my suffering. The fatigue that I feel is so great and the cross is so heavy that I fell halfway there. In the most brutal manner, the soldiers forced me to lift up the cross. One soldier takes me by the arm. Another soldier pulls my clothes that are stuck to my wounds, tearing them open again. Yet another soldier grabs me by the neck, another by the hair. A number of soldiers hit me with their fists and others kick me with terrible blows all over my body. The cross falls over me and with the weight causes new wounds. My face is forced down into the stones of the path. Blood runs down my face and it sticks to my eyes which are almost closed. The blows I have received are causing my eyes to be swollen. The dust and the mud mingle with the blood and I am torn into the most repugnant person. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Continue with me for a few moments, and a few steps ahead you will see me in the presence of my holy mother, her heart pierced with pain. She comes out to meet me for two reasons. One is to give herself more strength to suffer at the sight of her son and God. And with her heroic attitude, it gives her son encouragement to continue his work of redemption. Consider the martyrdom of those two hearts. With my mother's love, the most is her son. She cannot ease my pain and she knows that her visit will make my suffering much worse. However, her presence will increase my strength to fulfill the will of the Father. My mother is my most beloved being on earth, and I know I cannot console her. The sad state in which she sees my cause, her heart, a suffering as deep as mine, she allows a sob to escape. She receives in her heart the debt that I am suffering in my body. Oh, how her eyes are fixed on me and mine on her. We do not utter a single word, but our hearts say many things in this painful gaze. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The fifth station. 
Simon helps carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I am on my way to Calvary. Those wicked men fear to see me die before reaching the end. Look for someone to help me carry the cross. And from the vicinity they seized a man called Simon. This man helps with carrying part of the cross, but the burden of my cross is still very difficult to bear. There are souls that walk this way behind me. They accept to help me carry my cross, but they still worry about comfort and rest. Many others agree to follow me, and with this in mind, they have embraced the perfect life. But they do not abandon their self-interest, which is still their priority. That is why they falter and drop my cross when it feels too heavy for them. They look to suffer in the least possible way. They measure their self-denial, evading humiliation and fatigue as much as possible. They remember, perhaps with sorrow, those whom they left behind. They try to obtain from themselves certain comforts and pleasures. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The sixth station, Veronica, wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There are many souls who are moved by a desire of salvation. It is this inspiration of love for the vision of what I have suffered for them that they decide to follow me on the path to Calvary. They embrace the perfect life and give themselves to my service. They help me to carry not just a part of the cross, but all of it. Their only desire is to console me and give me rest. They surrender themselves to my will, searching for anything that can please me. They do not think about the merits or the reward that awaits them, nor do they consider the tiredness or the suffering that will follow. They only consider the love they can show me and the comfort they can give me. They accept the total submission, the cross that presents itself as an illness. They also accept the cross that is hidden under a job contrary to their inclinations and a little agreement with their abilities. They also accept a cross of loneliness, a cross of the absence of people to surrender them. Oh, these are the souls that truly carry my cross. They adore it, they take advantage of my cross to glorify me. They do this without any interest or payment other than my love. They are the ones who are considerate of me and glorify me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. 
the seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider Simon who is behind me. He is helping me to carry the cross. He is a man lacking goodwill. He is a mercenary because if he accompanies me and shares the weight of the cross, it is because he has been forced to do so. For that reason, when he feels tired, he lets the full weight of the cross fall on me. Thus, I fall to the ground for the second time. My father sends angels to assist me. They help to maintain my human consciousness when I fall. My battle must continue until the appointed time so that many souls are not lost. I walk over the stones that destroy my feet. As I stumble and fall, I look into the crowd searching for a small look of love, of union with my pain. However, I do not see anyone with a look of compassion. My children, will you who follow in my footsteps not let go of your cross, even if it seems so heavy? Do it for me. In carrying your cross, you will help me carry mine, and on the difficult path, you will find my mother and the holy souls who will give you support and comfort. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not over me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days shall come wherein they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wounds that have not borne, and the breasts that never nursed. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. Consider that if you do not see the product of your sufferings, of your self-denial, or if you see it later, be certain that they have not been in vain and fruitless. On the contrary, they shall bear abundant fruit. The souls who truly loves does not keep count of how much it has suffered or worked, nor does it seek rewards. It only desires that which it believes glorifies its God. For him, neither its hassles nor toils are tiring. It does not become agitated nor restless. Far from it, for it remains calm and peaceful. When it encounters obstacles or when it is humiliated, it does not mind. The only motive for its actions being love and that love abandons concern for the consequence and the results. These souls who do not seek reward are only motivated by love. They only desire to participate in my glory, to comfort me and help me rest. For that reason, they have taken up my cross and all the weight that my will wants for them to bear. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The ninth station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Exhaustion takes its toll on me, as I can barely walk. My feet are bleeding because the stones along the way cut into my feet. I fall for the third time. Three times I have fallen along the way. The first is to show sinners who are used to sinning that they can convert and have the strength even though they have fallen into sin. My second fall is for the souls who fail because they are frail or those souls who are blinded by sadness and restlessness that they can get up and embark with courage upon the path of virtue. My third fall is for those souls who depart from sin at the hour of death. My children, call me by my name, for Jesus means everything. I will wash your feet, those feet that have embarked on a slippery path that leads to injury, to their feet by blows against the rocks. I will wipe away your tears, I would cure you, I would kiss you. With this you will remain healthy, and I know no other path but the one that leads to me. Souls that belong to me do not pay attention to our cruel enemy. As soon as you feel the movement of grace at the beginning of the battle, come to my heart. Feel and watch how my heart spills a drop of my blood over your soul and you will come to me. You will know where I am under the veil of fate. Lift off this veil and with complete confidence tell me all your sorrows, all your miseries and all your falls. Listen to my words with respect and do not fear for the past. My heart has submerged itself into the endless depths of my mercy and my love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of the clothing. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Look at what cruelty these hardened men surround me. Some of them pull the cross and lay it on the ground, while others work at tearing my clothes that adhere to the wounds that open again, and my blood oozes out. Look, beloved children, at how much shame and confusion I suffer seeing myself humiliated in this way before that immense mob. How this pains my soul. The executioners tear off my tunic and toss lots for it. This tunic, which my mother covered me with so much care during my childhood, and had grown in size as I had. What immense sorrow envelopes my mother as she contemplates this scene. Contemplate for a moment these blood-stained hands and feet, this naked body, 
covered with wounds, with urine and blood. Dirty, my head is punctured by sharp thorns, soaked in sweat, full of dust and covered with blood. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It is now time for the executioners to stretch my arms onto the cross. They pull my arms to make them reach the holes prepared on the cross. All my body is ruined, swinging from side to side. The crown of the thorns penetrates deeper into my head. Listen for the first blow of the hammer that nails my right hand. The sound of that blow resounds to the depths of the earth. Listen some more. Now they are nailing my left hand. At the presence of this spectacle, the heavens tremble and the angels prostrate themselves. I keep the most profound silence. My lips do not utter a complaint, nor do they moan under such pain. But my tears now mingle with the blood that covers my face. After they have nailed my hands, they pull on my feet with as much cruelty that they can muster. My wounds open, the nerves in my hands and arms are torn. My bones are dislocated from their joints. The pain is intense. My feet are nailed and my blood soaks the earth. Contemplate your Jesus hanging on the cross without being able to make the slightest movement. I am naked, without fame, without honor and without liberty. They have snatched everything from me. There is no one who takes pity and feels sorry for my pain. I received only tortures, ridicules, and mockery. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The twelfth station, Jesus dies upon the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My children, you have heard and seen my suffering. Accompany me until the end and share my pain. My cross is now raised. Here is the hour of the redemption of the world. I am the spectacle of jeers for the mob, but I am also admired and loved by the souls. This cross, up to now an instrument of torture where criminals are executed, becomes from now on the
the light and peace of the world. I offered my debt to my father for the dying souls that they will have life. In the last cry I give from the cross, I embrace humanity, past, present and future. My children, there are no glorious crosses on earth. They are wrapped in mystery, darkness and exasperation. They are wrapped in mystery because you do not understand them. Wrapped in darkness because they confuse the mind and wrapped in exasperation for they strike exactly in places where you do not want them to strike. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There is no time for lamenting, nor is there time for delay. I tell you that not only did I carry the wooden cross that led me to glory, but most importantly, I also carried the invisible but permanent cross that was formed by the crosses of your sins. As for all your sufferings, they are the object of my sorrows. I suffered not only to give you redemption, but also for what you should suffer today. Look at the love that unites me to you. In it have the confirmation of my holy will. Unite yourselves to me, observing how I act among the limitless bitterness. I have taken as a symbol a piece of wood, a cross. I have carried it with great love for the good of all. I have suffered real affliction so that everyone could be joyful with me. But today, how many believe in the one who truly loved you and loves you? Contemplate me in the image of the Christ who cries and bleeds. There and in this way the world has me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The fourteenth station. Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I created the world and also the tree that was to provide the wood for my cross. I created and cultivated the bramble bush that was to provide the thorns for my royal crown. I buried in the bowels of the earth the irons that was to forge my nails. O oh, mystery of incomprehensible love, I have created a nest for the bird, a den 
for the beast, a place for the rich, a house for the laborer, a crib for the baby, a home for the aged. When I came in person to visit my land, there was no room for me in the inns of the world. It was a cold, freezing world that night when I came to mankind. I came to men, but men did not recognize me. There was no room for me, and now. My children, poor sinners, do not distance yourselves from me. I wait for you night and day at the tabernacle. I will not reproach you for your crimes. I will not throw your sins in your face. What I will do is to wash you with the blood of my wounds. Do not be afraid. Come to me. You do not know how much I love you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. The 15th Station, The Resurrection of Jesus We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Holy Friday was followed by the glorious dawn of the Sunday of the Resurrection. It is my redeeming blood that waters the arid lands and that have become the deserts in the world of souls. And this blood will always run over the earth as long as there is one man to save. I have not died on the cross and gone through a thousand tortures to populate hell with souls, but rather to populate heaven with chosen ones. I say again, my children, poor sinners, do not distance yourselves from me. I wait for you night and day at the tabernacle. I will not reproach you for your crimes. I will not throw your sins in your face. What I will do is to wash you with the blood of my wounds. Do not be afraid. Come to me. You do not know how much I love you. Come now, my children. Come to me. I am your Lord who awaits you in the tabernacle. I am completely present in body, blood, soul and divinity. Do you want to know me? Then come and spend time with me. I love you, dear children. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. Closing prayer, let us pray. O God, who by the precious blood of thy only begotten Son did sanctify the standard of the cross, grant, we beseech thee, that we who rejoice in the glory of the same holy cross may at all times and places rejoice in thy protection to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for the intentions of our Holy Father and for the intentions of our Blessed Mother. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, most obedient, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.